far too. That's so I got the leaves. Literally, as you can see here, I just picked up the leaves that was going to end up clogging up the drain. So I'm doing around my house a favor. It looks better. There's a few of them that fell down since the winter. But I got these, them leaves this fall from this street. Just down to where those barrels at to the end, right to the end of the street. Yeah, I just picked up all the leaves from all these trees. Filled up, they filled up my uh, trailer. Um, that, uh, that heaping pile right there, which is, it's composted down. I just turned that pile. And it's like I say again, every time I turn it, I watch it get blacker and blacker. Like that stuff is good to go for this spring. So I'm gonna use it. But those are just leaves, it's just me cleaning up. And that's why I decided I'm gonna get a lot of my compost. Just do the fall cleanup, uh, down trees, all your weeds, Vine, vines I burn because Vine and compost pile. It might start growing out the compost pile. <laughs> if I get vines, I try to separate it and burn them. But uh, yard waste, leaves, uh, it's some work. Now, it took me all evening. I spent about, about three, four hours getting that three yard pile. But once again, that pile is, that's a, you know, that's a two hundred dollar pile of compost. If you bag that stuff up, man, they charging the cheapest bag you gonna get is two dollars a bag. Some of the stuff they sell you is uh, you know, more than that. But you get two dollars a bag. You know that's uh, that's well over uh, that's about two hundred dollar pile of compost, from what I understand. The prices I've been getting. Even if it's a hundred, a hundred and fifty dollar bill, whatever it costs, wherever you at, the point is, I didn't pay for it. I just worked for it, and uh, it's a real value. Didn't take up, but it took me a day or half a day. Maybe this took a day because I had to wood chip these down. So, you know, I, I, or half a day. You know, two, three hundred dollars is very well worth. A day of my time because right now I know I don't make that in a day doing what I'm doing to make money. <laughs> I used to make that or more trucking, but I ain't trucking no more. Also, came what I'm finna go back and get is a pile like this of these logs. These got value for me. I can build stuff with these, anything from fence. Um, I can build beddings for uh, to plant trees or raised beds. Like some of them raised beds you see in the back, they made with logs like these. You can bury these, and they'll make a good uh, what they call a hugel culture bed. They'll rot and give you nutrition for your plants for years. You know, as long as you live, a hugel, a hugel bed lasts you, you know, uh, 80 years. You can burn them into biochar. That'll last you, you're talking about a uh, 100 years, 80 years to 100 years vitality, at least 50. So that's uh, me talking today about real economics and acquiring stuff that's real value of things, looking at stuff for its value, stuff outside of uh, money. What you call them, like them compost piles, is a uh, real value. It's not what you call money, but it's a value. And you do enough of it, you get to the point, you know, where you master one of them and uh, you can sell your excess. That's the point. You take what you need and the rest you sell or you store it up to use it for later. And it's a real value. Here go some more um, um, trees from me uh, pruning 
and cleaning out this space. You know, there's my burn pit. I, I uh, tilled this up and put the tarp on it. See if uh, anything want to grow. Anything sprout under here, let it sprout and uh, I'm leave that on for like a week or two. I think it's two weeks, maybe three weeks. But anything sprout on here, and then uh, I got I got about two feet of uh, good soil under here. I don't even think I need to compost this back here. These leaves been falling on this site for some time. But there it is, man. Um, you know, I can actually walk all the way through here now. Which is pretty cool. I'm gonna burn this vine. If you, this is, I was looking around for compost and uh, they want a lot of money, man. If you get enough compost to do the kind of garden I'm trying to do, man, you just want to spend it, you know, a thousand dollars. You know, I'd rather spend you know, four days. So I haven't done that. I've spent about, at this point, two days. Maybe three. And I got, you know, three. I got about five yards of, uh, six yards of compost and probably, you know, a yard of uh, wood chips. That come from my chicken man, but that's this is real value. You know, somebody walking down the street, it's, it's a pile of shit. But to me, and that's good. That's a let's just look at the pile of dirt. It's, it's a pile of dirt, man. Dirty leaves. Yeah. But that right there is what makes this. And that, yeah. So that's it, man. That's uh, cool in the boots, baby. Cool in my shoes. That's my uh, spaz on. Uh, that's my spill on. You know, finding value. Like that's what we got to do. You got to start collecting real value. You gotta, everything can't be uh, money, cash money. You can use cash money, but it's better that you learn how to use real value now before uh, you may run across a time where there is no money. I mean, for two reasons. Either you don't have money or money ain't got no value. But this real value, this will always be real value because this is how you eat. And I don't care what kind of times we in, the people I know, until they turn into quickening spirits, we don't know when that's gonna happen, right? <laughs> um, they gotta eat. Quickening spirit might even eat a little bit, I don't know. Real value. Here is my potting soil mix. And uh, I used some of the compost to make this. You know what I'm saying? Compost and uh, I think I put some pea moss in there. So, that bed, uh, I'll give you one more example of what you uh, use uh, compost and wood chips for. I got 50 seconds. I gotta show you this because this, where these greens growing, um, that was all clay. That wasn't really growable soil. I had a big pile of uh, wood chips and compost, and I spread it out here because that, that's what they're growing in. Um, I burnt the wood chips for a while, kind of charred them, and I put manure down here, mixed it up. Bam, that's the soil they're growing. In. It's a good, rich brown soil. Same with these beds right here. These little raised things is uh, compost and uh, manure and wood chips. All right, y'all. I'm out. Shalom.